Wow. There he is. There's the guy, the COVID kid. Yes, we're back in action. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Ooh, it's been touch and go, man. Touch and go. But I'm back. Yeah. I don't know if I had the COVID. I think it's good I, to see your smiling eyes. It's good to see yours. I don't know if I had it, but I think I may have had it. I was around a lot of people who tested positive, who are uh, famous enough, rich enough, all of the enoughs to get tested. So I probably had it. Yeah. Uh, you know, how long has it been since you've quarantined? Quarantined. Uh, yeah. At least 10 days now. 10 days. Okay, Ten so days. you're four days away. Four days away, the incubation yeah. Period. Yeah, you, could get, you were sick, but you can get hit again. Yeah, yeah I could probably get you hit again. You never know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really know. You're like, how a, there's you're so like much, a ticking time bomb. There's so much conflicting huh. information that you just, you just kind of go with your gut. You just stay quarantined for as long as humanly possible. I got another three months as far as I'm concerned. Listen, when it comes to the quarantine... You don't listen to the Clementine. Ignore, ex, uh, ignore anything he says. You listen to Anthony Fauci. You know Fauci? I know Fauci. Fauci's the guy. Fauci's the guy for He's sure. The guy. He's been yeah. ripping on the, the Clementine for fucking days now. Si- just, just a little jab here, a little jab here. It's not right. You're not right. This isn't right. And he's been there, yeah. he's making us making us all feel a little safer, making us feel also slightly terrified in the meantime. At least but, like okay. somebody's in control. But I got to tell you, I have cause to celebrate. What's that? I have cause to celebrate. What's that? It's been two weeks. It's been 15 days since I went to the NBA Finals, the Nets versus the Lakers. I saw the Nets win that game, by the way, which was fucking awesome. I knew, I had a, I had a feeling, I had a feeling in my mind that that was going to be the last game of the season. And lo and behold... Here we are today. Very much the last game of the season. Probably the last game of the year. Probably the last sporting but, event. But uh, as I touch my face, don't worry, my hands are clean. I washed them thrice before doing this pod. But the thing that scared me the most is that several players who were there at the game tested positive. Oh, from yeah. what I understand, this shit is in the air. I was in a stadium. They were sweating their asses off. They were spitting like crazy. It's definitely all around. It's all over. So maybe you're one of the lucky ones, you know, asymptomatic. Yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Otherwise, well, yeah. Uh, I, I, I faced death. I came out the other side. So it's been 15 days. My incubation period's over. I'm good, baby. I'm good. <coughs> I'm good. Let me tell you about the two baddest cats in town. They're here to talk about random shit yeah. floating around. So grab yourself a drink, baby, if you please. Just shoot. With chafe and cheese. Well, chim chim chiru and a ho hum too. Welcome to another rousing, riveting, rip roaring, rip torn, rip van winkle. Wow. Of an episode of Shooting the Breeze with Chafe and Cheese. And I'm Chafe. I'm Cheese. And we're shooting the breeze today. Today, baby. Woo. We, gotta, we gotta address the elephant. Oh yeah, what elephant? We're doing it. We're, this this podcast is brought to you by Zoom. Oh yeah, we're zooming. Thanks, Zoom. Appreciate Zoom, it. You're free. Yeah, we, 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 I'm keeping you far away. You're keeping me far away. We're 13 miles away. We're potting. First time uh, ever. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. I don't want to yeah. see you. Phys- I don't want to see be in a room with you for another three to six months. Okay. Eight, if I can help it. I don't know where you've been. You don't know where I've been. Although I know where I've been, and it's nowhere. That's where I'm. And I don't want to know. Whew! Desperate times, my man. Desperate times. Desperate measures. Yes. What's going on? What's happening? What's been going on in your? Yeah, well, I'm asking you, guy. Oh, you're asking me, guy. You know what I've been doing lately? Watching a fuck ton of Netflix. That's what I've been doing. Netflix, you say? What's going, you, What's good? What's good these days? Oh, have you watched Tiger King yet? No. What is this? You gotta watch the Tiger King. There's a man out there named Joe Exotic. I don't know if you remember from the Stephen Colbert uh, expose on Joe Exotic. He ran for president in 2016. Really? He really did. And let me tell you. 
There's a whole lot more going on beyond his presidential candidacy, I'll tell you that much. Joe Exotic is a psychopath, and you gotta watch Tiger King just for the expose on this psycho. I'll check it out, but what's so exotic about the man? Joe Exotic? His real name is like yeah. Joe, like Blau Frankish, but he calls himself Joe Exotic because, sorry, I washed my hands too. Hands are clean, gotta scratch my face. What are you gonna do? Yeah, it's okay, you're not giving a presser on the COVID. No, you asshole. No, no, no. This I'm man speaking to all Americans. Uh -huh. This man has a private zoo filled with exotic animals. Filled with like tigers. legitimately. Oh yeah, tigers and bears and monkeys and snakes and fucking woolly mammoths. For all I know. Wow. This guy, and this guy is a raging, raging, raging druggie homosexual. I'll give you uh -huh. a little taste. He married two men at the same time. And that he's is a like... a polygamist? Oh, he's a two? polygamist. That is the tip of the iceberg, my man. He is a wow. wild, wild beast. And you gotta check it he sounds out. Ex he sounds exotic, you know? That's my biggest uh, takeaway from this quarantine time. Joe Exotic, psychopath. Wow. Amazingly fascinating character. I'll check it. What about you, fuckface? Eh? What have you been watching? What have you been doing? I've been traveling the globe. I've been traversing the Los Angeles streets, delivering, making deliveries. I'm an essential business. Did you know I'm essential? They have deemed me essential. Fools. You realize this. Bunch of fools. Listen, man, I'm just doing what I had to do to survive. You know what I'm saying? But it's very, very, very sad. It's very sad driving around these days. How could it not it's, be? Uh, everything's slowly closing. Restaurants that were like kind of slow have four lease signs up in them now. They're gone. It's just whoever was on the edge, you're gone. And Wild then, stuff. You know, it's going to end up being that there's a few restaurants left, one of each kind in each area. You can have a Chinese food place. You can have a pizza joint. You can have a coffee shop. You know, you're going to have some Thai food here, a little Italian over there. And then that's it. Everything else is going to be closed for the next six months. Well, the, uh, that's about it. the bailout plan just came out today. We might have a few more than you think now. $500 I don't know. Million dollars for some businesses, you know what I mean? We'll see. I hope so. I hope so. But I honestly think that it's not going to be pretty news for a lot of people. I think you're right. But we'll see. I mean, from what I understand, we're going to stay like this until this passes. So whatever like California is doing, the whole state or New York is doing or New Jersey is doing, the lockdown, we're going to do this for six months until this passes. If it gets worse, they're going to lock it down further. But it's got to stay like this. Oh, absolutely. Give me, give me your estimated date. I'm going to give my estimated date. Give me your estimated date. By the time, well, by the time you can gather with 50 people or more. What do you think? Well, it's not going to be Easter, okay? Jesus is going to come from the dead and shake my dick before that happens. I'll probably. tell you that. He's probably doing that yeah. right now. So it's not, it ain't going to be Easter. <laughs> Listen, anyone who's listening to the, the Clementine during the quarantine knows that he's full of shit and he's probably going to kill off his own supporters. That's the good news. I'm glad the people it took who take this long, finally. It took this long for people to realize this guy has no clue what the fuck he's talking about. People who hang on his every word are going to get hurt. And I say let him. Let him at this point. It's survival of the fittest. Darwin is at work today. Darwin is at work. And I'm going to let him do his thing. You understand? Darwin's but my dangling point is this. the carrot, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's dangling the carrot. But uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. But the point is this. Hunker down. It's going to be six months. And uh, even if Trump says oh, business is open, the governors of California, New York, and New Jersey are still going to say, fuck you. We're closed. We're closed. So that's the good news. All these states that we, you know, the ones that are hardest hit, thank God they're run by Democrats. Thank God they close their shit down. Because the red states, they're not going to do so well. They're not going to do so well. They're going to wait till it's too late. No, my date. That's my idea. You know what my date uh, is? It's 2021. Uh, I'll tell you that much. You think it's a year? I think it's a full year before groups of 50. And you know why? Because you won't be able to be in that group until you had a vaccine. That's going to be it. Vaccine or bust. That's how this is going to go. 
Well, it depends how many people it goes through. It's a pandemic, and Trump even said it. They don't like when I say washing through. They don't like when I say it, but it's going to wash through. It it's going to wash through. It's got to run its course. It's going to wash yeah. through just about everybody. 56% of the country is supposed to get it. 56%. More than, I heard 75. Hey, whatever the number is, it's a but, lot. Um, let me give you a point. If you want to know what's really happening, this is, I've been one or two days ahead of every step of this. Why? Why? Because when shit hits the fan, you got to follow the money. I've been watching CNBC. When you see what the CEOs of all these major companies are saying, you can, believe, you can bet your ass their information is correct. Why? Why? Because there's money on the line. There's money on the line. It's and why is Trump money. lying to you? Because there's re-election re on the line. Because he wants, he seems to think that the stock market is the economy. I learned in an econ, in AP econ in high school, that the stock market is an indicator of the economy. It, it, it's like trying to, it's like trying to diagnose uh, a, a diabetes. I don't even fucking know. But the point is, he's an idiot, <laughs> and I could do a better job. <laughs> You're probably right. You're probably right, especially with matters of health and the economy. You know, you know the small stuff. Hey, guy. Yeah. Yeah, guess what's happening? What's happening? I've been on my uh I've been on my meat diet there. You know what I'm saying? Doing all meat. I see. I can't wait in today. I can't even see you. I'm dwindling. But I uh I'm uh got on the scale today, you know what I'm saying? One fifty eight point one. For those doing math at home, for those keeping score, that is ninety nine pounds lost. 99! That's an insane amount of weight, my friend. Congratulations. I'm almost there. Thank you, sir. I'm almost there. I'm at the old hundo. But uh, I couldn't have done it without the, the help of the beef and the help of the eggs. That's all I've been eating lately. In this time where, where everybody's flocking to the grocery store and cleaning out the shelves, you know what there's always in the, in the grocery store? You know what they always have? Steak, baby. Hard to, harder to find eggs, but they always got the steak. Can't and find boy, the eggs, oh boy. but yes, absolutely. The steak is ready and prepared and ready to roll for you. I'm, it's all fresh, too, because people are buying it, so it's good. But, man, I am happy. I'm full. I'm just covering everything in butter and ghee and just lathering it up with delicious spices. It's good. Things are good. Things are good. <laughs> Things are good. Things are good for one man on one part of the earth. That's about it. Good for it's, you, Listen, like, like I said, I've been living in survival mode for four years. This is just another day for me. I'm just, I'm just business as usual. Get up, make the best out of the day, make some hay while the sun shines, throw a steak on the barbie, call it a night. You know what I'm saying? All you can do take care of you in this time. All you can do. Yeah, and that and be with friends and family and stay, stay in communication with the ones I love. You know what I'm saying? Which I gotta, I gotta tell you, I got a bone to pick. I got a bone to pick with you. Me you and about 12 other me. guys got a bone to pick. Yeah, I got a bone to pick. Me and 12 other guys got a bone to pick. Listen, I, th I think uh, this year, before you even, I'm going to preface this with, before we even right, start, pre-pandemic, yeah. pre-pandemic, you know what was the worst thing that happened to mankind? Group what? texting. Group texting well, fuck you. is the fucking worst thing that ever happened to mankind. And you are the mayor of the group text during this pandemic. Let me tell you, I got texts. Absolutely. I got big black dicks coming in my te texts. I got That's not my doing. I got random. I did not dispense any dicks towards your face i got random videos of bullshit coming in these stupid things and then i got they got uh, fucking judge dread over there that's you sending we're gonna die in 12 days we're doing this we're doing that this is happening no one's dying no one's dying hold up hold up hold up no one is dying okay i'm warning i'm preparing i'm not trying to scare you out of your wits i'm trying to scare you into your wits who's, who's been a day there. ahead of every major development who has been a day ahead of every every major development who I don't know. Feel me! Like me, you dumb twat! Me! Me! I've been sending you... LA's gonna shut down. New York's gonna shut down. Shit's gonna shut down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Boom, it shut down. Look you at know you. What, you know what difference that makes to me? Zilch. What? Absolutely nothing, because I would have gotten the information regardless. I don't need a group of 12 people bugging out saying that the pandemic's happening. We gotta go get this. We gotta go get that. I've been at the grocery store. No, no, no. I got fucking Amazon Prime. I can deliver Whole Foods whenever the fuck I want. No, 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 no. 
Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. You don't understand. It's about togetherness. It's about brotherness. Okay? And I started that text out of brotherness. And you know what happened? We left you out. We, we, you're out of the text. We started a new thread. You haven't gotten a text in like 24 hours. You realize that? You, you realize it, that? It, it I got 30 been, texts. It has been a blessing. Not getting a single dick pic. Not getting a single random. No dick pics anymore. Update, MSN we update, grew out of the dick pics. NBC pics. update. Uh, fucking NBC update. The only updates you didn't send were Fox News, thankfully. But I was getting updates from every, from up the wazoo. Listen, the last 15 texts have been Kate Upton's boobs, okay? So you're missing out, and I don't know what to tell you other than go fuck yourself. I got Google. I'll figure that out on my own, on my own time, okay? Okay. Hey, Siri, Google and Kate Upton's boobs. Bang, done. <laughs> I've noticed that a lot uh, of people, uh, a lot of people's hygiene has has fallen off the deep end during this pandemic. How are you doing on that end? You showering still? What what's your what's your showerly take these days? Showering. Um, listen, I'm still clean, but I'm conserving. I used to be a twice a day guy. Twice a day guy. You know me in the morning and at night. Got to yeah. leave the day fresh. Got to be fresh before you hit the sheets. You got to the rule. sheets with a new scent. Exactly. That's exactly right. But lately, I've been living with the lady friend. You know, I want, I want to conserve water. We're in Los Angeles. The water bills ain't cheap. So I went from twice a day to once a day. End of the day. I go day right shower, before bed. Huh? huh? That's good. Once a day shower. Not bad. Yeah. What are you up to? Three times a month? Depends on the day. You know, I was sick in bed for like a good week and a half without a shower. And now we're back. Back to the daily Listen. shower. There's nothing better when you're sick than a nice shower. Especially if you have a fever, you take a cold shower. Oh, God, there's nothing better than a warm shower when you got a fever. What are you talking about? No, no, no. You got to break the fever. You got you to do ice bath. No. You got to bring the temp down. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nah, you, live, you get in a hot shower. You get it all over the achy back. You know what I mean? You're doing a little dance. It's no. like you got the chills. It's like someone's doing the crack an egg on your, your head the whole time. It's fantastic. You've clearly never watched er clearly <laughs> i've watched er oh i've watched er have you don't talk i've to seen many an ice bath on er he's burning up he's burning up throw him in the ice throw him in the ice yeah that's when he's got a 106 fever you know i didn't have 106 i had a measly 100 yeah i'll give you 100 dicks about that i know you ha you already have in their text thread which i'm done with Well, we did it. Whew. Good job. Hey, considering we're miles away, this was not that bad. Hey, the pandemic pod still lives, you know? Yeah, our, let's call this one the Corona Cast. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Take a pick. Zoom. Brought to you by Zoom. Hey, yeah. thanks, Zoom. All thanks, right, I'll Zoom. see you in a week. Maybe we'll have on some guests via Zoom. Who knows? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we got Jolly Shaw's in the works for Delhi News, right? Yeah, the world's ending. We might as well do something dumb, right? Ah, that sounds like another Tuesday for us. All right. Well, good night. Good luck. Good eve. Good day. Good morning. Hashtag Javen Cheese. Hashtag STB Podcast. Hashtag Delhi Grandma.